Hey, what's going on everybody? This is D here with High Off Blue Hour, and this should be a quick video, but I've been meaning to talk about this for a couple months now, so it's finally time for me to just go ahead and put this opinion out there. Now, if you scan this channel, it becomes fairly obvious that I'm a pretty big fan and user of DaVinci Resolve Studio. I started out with the free version and then fairly quickly upgraded to Resolve Studio because it only made sense. But also within the last year or so, I've also started using the desktop version of CapCut. And you know, I think a lot of times this desktop version of CapCut gets overlooked and a little underrated. Although I will admit, in more recent times, people have started to give, again, the desktop version of CapCut, it's just due and kind of acknowledged the high quality that it actually uh, can produce. I think a lot of people think of CapCut the mobile app because of the kind of, it gets heavily promoted in TikTok and all those type of things. We're talking about the desktop version here. Now, there is a feature that both CapCut desktop and DaVinci Resolve both have, but in my opinion, and most importantly, in my experience, CapCut does this better than DaVinci Resolve. And it's interesting because, you know, I think most of us think of DaVinci Resolve as the more high quality, um, you know, the industry standard, one of the industry standard professional level editing suites. So you, you wouldn't think that there's anything that CapCut can do better than DaVinci Resolve Studio but there is, and what it is, it is auto subtitles. Now, DaVinci Resolve Studio, their auto subtitles, they do work most of the time, but CapCut, their auto caption uh, feature works much, much quicker and oftentimes a lot more accurately as well. And this is something, you know, this is a theory that I've been testing out uh, periodically for a few months now because I didn't want to do a video kind of um, criticizing DaVinci Resolve's uh, auto subtitle feature uh, without truly kind of testing things out and maybe giving giving them time to maybe kind of spruce things up or upgrade the feature a little bit and things like that. But after this recent 18.6 uh, upgrade that came out, uh, went through the upgrade and then tested out once again dabbled with the auto subtitle feature and really the speed hadn't improved at all so I feel a lot more confident saying this now after letting the the upgrade the 18.6 upgrade happen and all of those type of things yes CapCut desktop does the auto subtitle feature much better than DaVinci Resolve. So I got a, a little bit of B-roll kind of footage playing right now. And what it what it's showing is I had a kind of a throwaway clip. I did use the clip in another video that I, that I made, but uh, it's a one minute, seven second clip that I took into DaVinci Resolve Studio and, and created subtitles for it there. And I also took that same clip into CapCut Desktop and created subtitles there. Now this one minute, seven second clip, DaVinci Resolve Studio took over three minutes to generate the subtitles for this one minute, seven second clip. Now, once those subtitles were generated, I will admit they were more accurate than they had been in the past when I had used Resolve's uh, subtitle feature, but still took a very long time comparatively to produce these subtitles. Now, this same one minute, seven second video in CapCut Desktop took 30 seconds, no exaggeration. It might've even been quicker than 30 seconds, but I don't wanna get crazy. 30 seconds, under a minute, uh, to produce uh, the subtitles, and the subtitles were accurate as usual. Uh, you know, the timing was on point, all of those things. Uh, that is a, that's a big deal, particularly when you think about none of my videos are a minute and seven seconds. Most of my videos are, you know, between five minutes and like, you know, 25 minutes. So you can imagine how long it would take to produce subtitles for a 15 minute video in DaVinci Resolve Studio. If it's going to take three minutes, three minutes plus to produce subtitles for a one minute clip. And that's something that I just can't really ignore. So the point of this video, DaVinci Resolve is still my favorite, my, my most used, my foundational editing program to use. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. But when I need to do 
subtitles, particularly subtitles throughout my whole video, I got to do that in CapCut Desktop because it just, it works so much better that it really can't be ignored and it can't be denied. Now, this may just be a me situation. I don't really know what the deal is. It's kind of, it's an interesting thing. You would think that there's pretty much nothing from a technical perspective that CapCut Desktop should be able to do better than DaVinci Resolve Studio. It's a it's a peculiar thing to me. It doesn't really bother me because I got them both, I use them both, so as long as I got possession of both, it doesn't really matter necessarily which one does what better, as long as I can use them both. But uh, I just wanted to put this video out there and I do wonder, uh, have you experienced this? Is there anybody out there who has tried the auto subtitles in Resolve as well as tried the auto subtitles in CapCut Desktop and gotten the same result of CapCut Desktop actually functioning a lot quicker in producing uh, the auto subtitles? So that is the video. Not a no, not a big deal, you know, and again, not meant to bash DaVinci Resolve, but more so to kind of give CapCut Desktop its flowers because it is beyond just the auto subtitle feature, it is a very high quality, worthwhile editing suite that I would actually recommend to, to anybody to use. You can definitely get some great results with CapCut Desktop. I'm still, you know, mainly DaVinci Resolve. That is my main go-to for editing and, and you know, all of that type of stuff. But auto subtitles, gotta go with CapCut Desktop. That's the video, thanks for watching.